Good evening. I am here. It is 1 a.m. <laughs> on November 2nd. I'm here late because uh, I fucked up and I fell asleep. I fell asleep after work. I gotta stop laying down. I really do. The urge is just so overwhelming to just take a nap. Um, I'm also possibly getting sick, so that might not be helping me a bit here. <clears throat> but hey, we're here. It is a new month. And uh, I have plans. So tonight, we're finally, finally, final bar line. E, yeah. <laughs> we're, this is the final, uh, this is the last final bar line stream. Uh, the final two DLC packs have come out. Bravely Default and Final Fantasy 16. So, there's not a whole lot to say. I mean, I've showed this off the last, like, three parts, but I have more or less completed this game to a point where I'm satisfied with it. The only thing I haven't done is get all of the uh, rainbow stars, which require, like, just a lot more grinding to get. And I've gotten all the feats, so I'm satisfied with what I've done. I just want to close this out proper by finishing all the DLC songs on the, sec on the red difficulty with, um with an S rank or higher, which, or double S or higher, which as you can see, the only songs I haven't done that for are the new ones. Also, I just noticed they did exactly what I said they were going to do. Where is it? They gave 16 its own section. They actually gave 16 its own section instead of having it be a DLC section. That's awesome. That's exactly what I was hoping they'd do instead of cram that all into a... Uh, into the Square Enix titles uh, section. So, the final two series they added are Bravely Default and Final Fantasy 16. Uh, final Fantasy 16, I don't have any experience with. I know the music is apparently very good in it, so I'm looking forward to experiencing that. And Bravely Default and Bravely Default 2, I've played one of the two games of. There is a third game that takes place... Excuse me. I'm trying to find it. Where is it? Here it is. So, four songs from Bravely Default, two from Bravely Default 2. Bravely Default 2 is not a sequel to Bravely Default. There is a game called Bravely Second, which is a sequel to Bravely Default. It's kind of like Final Fantasy, like Final Fantasy 1 and 2 are not sequels to each other. I have not played any of 2 aside from the demo, and I've heard 2 is okay, but I love Bravely Default 1. I wish there was music from 2nd in here instead of 2, but you know what? I'll, I'll take what I can get here. So we'll start with Bravely Default, move on to 2, and then we'll move on to 16, and then we'll see what happens after that. Actually, no, I know what happens after that, and move on to the next game, because that'll be the end of it. So anyway, yeah. So we're starting with the main uh, overworld map theme from Final Fantasy... Blah, 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 from the, whatever this game is. The Bravely Default. Anyway, this series has really good music, and this is a game I've wanted to stream... It's... Streaming Bravely Default in second would be a very long, uh, long stream series. Also kind of weird. I don't know how it worked because I know parts of it use the DS's, 3DS's microphone and, uh, camera. I'd have to see if I could get that, you know, working on my legit 3DS.
Well, like Coward Only the Game. What? <laughs> also, uh, this song, when you hear the music, like, get to that quiet part towards the end, that actually coincides with the day and night cycle of the game. It's pretty cool. It's a very quick day and night cycle, but it's there. I don't think it has much bearing on the game, actually. Making fun of the title. Oh. Coward Only. <laughs> Bravely Default. Well, it's funny because Bravely Default... Brave and Default are two... Uh, mechanics in the game uh, that work very interestingly. So default is just defending. If you default, you defend, but you get like a point. Uh, Brave, on the other hand, uses a point to give you an extra turn. And what you could do is you could store up to three extra turns and take four turns at once. Or you could take four turns at once from the beginning, but then be out of, like, you're unable to, you're unable to attack for four turns. It's actually very, it's a very cool system that, like, you could balance it. Like, you could do, like, you could take, like, one extra turn at the beginning and then maybe do something that gets you another point back quicker so you can then attack quicker again. There's, like, a whole system regarding how it, uh, how it handles. In fact, the whole gimmick with Bravely Default in general is that every class gives you, like, another gimmick you can use in battle, and there's ways of combining them and, like, doing multiple gimmicks at once. That of the name, that is not the title of the song that I would think this, they would go with for this. So this is a uh, this is a specific boss theme that's used in um, both Bravely Default and Bravely Second. When you're fighting a boss, that gives you a new class when you beat them. Much like Final Fantasy XIV's job stones, uh, you get like little stones called asterisks, which uh, give you different jobs when you use them, when you equip them. And this song is great. Almost double S. This song is great. Uh, ears are splution. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, Yandori. Said you didn't final chocobo line. That, that would have been cool. That would have been good. Well, it's final. See, saying final bow line is already kind of a pun. Saying chocobo bow line would be too much. I think that'd be layering a bit too much on it. 
If I said final choco bar line, maybe. Hey, Karma. The evil wings. Oh, okay. This is, um... This is not the final boss. This is like the semi-final boss. So they had to put the final boss and the semi-final boss in here. Meow, he had a realization. And what would that be, Karma? Yeah, thinking about it, it's a good thing I actually... So I... I, I if... So, I was gonna finish Nightmare Zapping tonight, which I started last night. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna have the time to do it, because I started way too late. And also, I'm realizing, like, oh, I'm only two songs in, and I'm already 12 minutes in. I'm only- I'm already 12 minutes into this, and I'm only two songs in. So, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do all this DLC in, like, less than an hour. Um, <laughs> it's gonna take a while. That's why I'm opting to do F-Zero tonight. I'm gonna start early tomorrow and start with Nightmare Zapping, finish it, then do WarioWare. Talking to your mom at lunch, she said, Why do they call it a toothbrush? Don't you be called a teeth brush? I that to myself. Oh, so that's where I got it from. <laughs> to be fair, that's human nature to question that kind of stuff. This song is good. All Bravely Default music's great.
There is no best, only critical. Yeah, wait. What is the Moogle doing? They're best. <laughs> there is no best, only critical. Never thought Tribal Under would be so angry inducing, especially the wall jump. Dear God, the wall jump. Yeah, that's the thing. Okay, tri I love Tribal Hunter. Obviously, I have to because it's the most watched thing on my on my YouTube channel, which means I should probably stream the DL the the extra area that came out for it at some point. It's not the most polished game. Some of the physics don't work very well. Also, there, there's a lot of enemy spam at points, and it's not the most fun thing. Right, I'm cranking the volume up a little bit, and also lowering my mic just a bit more, because we need the music to stand out a bit more. Actually, that should be that should be fine. All right. If you thought that if you thought these two songs were good and like escalating, wait till you hear this one. I hope this is the whole song, but it probably won't be. This song is very long, so this is the final boss theme from Probably Default. When I saw the slime pit part, your heart stopped. Yeah, I had a lot of trouble in the in the slime pit when I got there. I uh, overinflated and exploded quite a few times there. Oh, they even got the the battlefield. Oh no, it's not the whole song. It's just the middle. Very good. Yeah, they skipped like the first like two minutes of that song. <laughs> they, 
they used the soundtrack version. They didn't properly fade it out. So the soundtrack version of that song, uh, that ending part where you heard the 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 symbol kind of kicking up at the end, that goes straight into the credits theme. And uh, they didn't remove that or use the in-game version. And yeah, they cut out the first like two minutes or so, um, which you kind of hear a little bit of at the very end there. Uh, you kind of hear a little bit of the beginning of the song at the very end. Uh, before, because it's normally the it's normally the looping part, but they have a specific ending to it for the soundtrack version. Um, it's it's used to great effect. Also, that that like one upbeat part in the middle is all the characters' themes put together. Speaking of, actually, I only showed this off on Twitter, <laughs> and no one noticed. But uh, a couple weeks ago, let me see if I can find it real quick here. Scroll back. A couple weeks ago, uh, I got a figure of Ring a Bell from uh, from Bravely Default, whose theme was in that last song that you just heard. Uh, I, I again, I love Bravely Default a ton enough that I'd buy merch for it. Um, <laughs> I love this figure too. It's this figure was cheap for how big and detailed it is. Let me tell you the pop up parade stuff. Very good if you're looking for, like, cheap anime collectibles. Um, and the art style from the game is very nice, too. It's kind of chibi, but it's, they still got personality. It's really good. I like it a lot. I haven't figured out where I'm putting that. I haven't figured out where I'm putting it. I've been moving him from the, my desk to my bed every time I have to move stuff over. My me my room's a mess. I have no room. <laughs> Need to finish Bravely Default. It's so good. Bravely Default is good. Bravely Second is, like, almost as good... There's a couple parts of Bravely Second that kind of don't work, but it's it's mostly mostly a solid experience. I don't know what song this is. Again, I haven't played. I've only played the demo of Bravely Default 2, and the song is not in it. Sounds good though. The music for Bravely Default and Bravely Default 2 was done by uh, Revo, who's a very talented uh, Japanese musician. Whereas the uh, Bradley Second's music was done by Rio from Supercell. And at first it was pretty criticized, but he went back and redid some of the music before it came out. And uh, it, it, it's just as good, honestly. I'm sad that Second doesn't have any representation here.
pretty good. Had a lot of callbacks to Bravely Default in it, which is interesting because Bravely Default 2 apparently has nothing to do with the first game. Something, okay, I don't want to spoil it because it's it's kind of a huge surprise, but there's kind of a meta aspect to Bravely Default and Bravely Second that Bravely Default 2 apparently doesn't embrace. Bravely Default 2 is kind of more a by-the-books thing with just the systems from Bravely Default 1. And that's one of the reasons I haven't been interested in playing it. Like, I was interested in the demo, thought the demo was fine, and then my brother got the full game and he gave up on it. He was like, yeah, it's not that great. And most of the criticisms I heard about the game are just, it's not really the same. It's kind of just, it's kind of just more generic RPG than, uh, than what Bravely Default brings to the table. And that's unfortunate, because I really liked Bravely Default in second. And I wish they'd go back and continue it, because Bravely Second technically ends with the with like a sequel hook at the very end that never gets brought up again. The mushrooms. If you're talking about the upgrade mushrooms, Karma, you want to get as many of those. Even if your health does not go up after eating one, keep keep eating them if you find them, because you eventually get the ability to unlock more, and any you've grabbed will retroactively affect you. The ones who gather stars in the night, in the night. This sounds like airship music. It can't be, though. This isn't... It's very repetitive sounding. The slime caves, man. Yeah. I forgot... The, the music in uh, Tribal Hunter is really, really good. I've heard they added more flight courses to the game since I played it. There were like four, f three or four. But now there's apparently one in every area.
Hey, from how you doing? Dang, go. That was good. It's a shame that Bloody Default 2 couldn't be as good as its music. Really, though, I, I would love to stream Default, uh, Bradley Default in second at some point. I, I, I would love it. It's gonna, it would take a long time to do. And I'd have to figure out how to properly get some of the 3DS's functions working on, uh, you know, the not 3DS. Because it uses, it, it, it uses microphone, it uses the camera, and it uses motion controls in a couple spots. So I don't know how I'd be able to do that properly. I'd have to look and see if Citra maybe supports it. Citra's what I call my legit 3DS that I've overclocked. Don't worry. Alright, that's all of that. So we have... The final DLC. Final Fantasy 16, which again, gets its own section. Which is really cool, that's what I was hoping they would do for this. Kind of a surprise that it's even here. Like, people thought, oh, it's not gonna be 16. There's not enough. There's no way they're gonna be able to get music from that into this game when it just came out. But we were surprised. We Apparently they had this in the works since the beginning. So the final, final bar line DLC is Final Fantasy 16. A game that I know nothing about, other than that some people like it, some people don't like it. And uh, one of my voice acting buddies, who I started with way back in the day, uh, Vincent Follow, he is the German voice actor now. For, for for Clive FF16. You know, Clive Clive Final Fantasy. He's the main character's voice. Which, you know what that means? That means my time's coming. That means FF4, FF17. Your boy's gonna be... Your boy's gonna be John FF17 when that comes out. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> let's get into this. We got 11 songs for this. This is by far the largest DLC pack. This is going to take probably a while to... <laughs> probably a while. This is gonna take a while to get through. And that's why I'm kind of upset that I started so late tonight, because there's no way I'm going to be able to do anything substantial after this, probably. So that's why I'm, uh, opting to do, uh, b -b 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 f F-Zero tonight instead of tomorrow. I will not shaft Nightmare Zapping tomorrow, don't worry. I will finish that before WarioWare comes out. Away.
Phoenix versus Phoenix there. <laughs> Almost a triple S. My, uh, my, again, my, my, uh, my rule is that I have to beat all of them on this ultimate difficulty with an, a double S or triple S. Double S is 88.5 million points to 8.9, and then triple S is 9 million and higher. Essentially, it's like a percentage. The last two, the first two digits are the percentage of how much of the song you've mastered. So, like, I got 89.4% of the song there, like, near perfect. Because the max score you could get is always 9, nine like, all, all 9s, that's it. You can't go higher than, than 9 million, 999,000, 999. Gone for a minute and returns to see a game over. What, did you not pause when you left? <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful. Things can fly off from on screen in that game and kill you. Hide, hide away. Nice, that was a near perfect run. 98, 9.8 million. Very good. 
Also, if you're wondering about my team composition right now, I just picked my char the characters that I like the most. Chocobo, Mog, Minwoo, and uh, Vivi. Because at this point, I don't need a team anymore. I've farmed everything I need from the game. I literally just have the four characters I want to reach max level here. <laughs> I'll play the Pixel Remasters at some point. Again, I have the physical collection for it. The Sail Forbidden Seas. I realize it's gonna be it's gonna be another long stream tomorrow. Long stream Thursdays. It's like the new trend now for me. Except not really. Tomorrow's gonna be the last time I do it for a while, probably. But I got three in a row, which is cool. near perfect nice i will say like you know yeah it would have been cool to get a more obscure series as like the final entry like another z like maybe the z more xeno games or or parasite eve parasite eve i would have loved to hear some music for, from in this game but i think you know ff16 huge deal definitely a worthy send-off for this and indie zero has said they're open to doing more dlc for it if square enix you know is okay with it so maybe we'll see another season this is technically three seasons of DLC over this year, so maybe we'll see a season, uh, a season four at some point. Who knows? But for all intents and purposes, I'm treating this like this is the end of the line, because as far as we know, this is going to be the end of the line. Also, I think I've mentioned this on stream, but I, I went to, uh, I bought a small chocobo pouch and a black mage pin from Final Fantasy XIV because I really wanted the magnets and they were out of the ones that I wanted. Uh, apparently they got them in stock. And I'm going to be getting them soon. The job class magnets from 14 that I wanted.
Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Messed that up. I said this music is, is excellent. I could see why people were happy. This, this game's getting music in the, in the game. It still counts. It still feels like it's a. Uh... It's still like it carries kind of like the feeling of the other the older Final Fantasy games to it, despite being v very modernized and and you know orchestrated. Like uh, control was it. I think one of these two, this either that last one or the one before it had kind of a, uh, kind of, it had like the main Final Fantasy motif in the background of it. Find the flame. Yeah. I don't have much else to say. Today was kind of a weird day, too. Like, I could talk, I can't really talk about it in detail.
one. Yeah, I can't. T yeah, actually, thinking about it, I can't, I really can't talk about today. Some really good, st some really good stuff, and some also very bad stuff happened in my life, and I actually cannot talk about either of it. I can't mention anything about either of them for different reasons, unfortunately. Uh, but, I mean, there's a chance that the bad stuff might turn out to be okay. But, I mean, there's nothing I can't... There's nothing I can really say about it, unfortunately. No risk, no reward. Oh! How weird this battlefield looks with the with the <laughs> final bar line characters on it. It's very weird looking because it looks like the it's ripped straight out of uh, 16. And you have these like little like cartoon characters fighting on it. Oh, star seven. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So we're what five? We're six songs in, so we got five more to go. Titan lost.
rocking. That, that sounded like a 14 song. <laughs> Rare collector scroll. Nice. I mean, useful if I need to collect anything else. I've already gotten everything in the game. <laughs> Ascension. Oh god, we're, we're standing on nothing. It's like the end of Wario Land 1, the true ending. We get the planet. song. Just notice we're not even halfway done. I missed a note. I didn't see it. I was not paying attention. I 
feel like that wasn't the whole song. I feel like there was more there. I wouldn't normally call out a single missed note, but I felt weird. I just, like, didn't see it somehow. It just slipped by my eyeballs. The Riddle. The Jonkler. The Jonkler and, and, and Batwoman. Oh, actually, Bat Batgirl is a real person. Batwoman is not, though. The Penguino. I just like the Jonkler. That's a Reddit meme for Batman Arkham Asylum. They also remove the word Bat from Batman's name and just call him Man. Sometimes Reddit is actually good. Sometimes. Rarely. Very good, very good. Man, this game is awesome. I've said it before and I'll say it again, this is probably my game of the year. Like, even above Tears of the Kingdom, Mario Wonder, maybe the upcoming Mario RPG will surprise me and be better, but I, I, I think that in terms of just going back and playing a game a ton, this game got me hooked. This is probably one of my favorite rhythm games ever and definitely my favorite game of the year so far. Logos, or Lagos, or something. I don't know. Maybe it's the final boss theme. Who knows? I haven't played FF16, so I don't know. <laughs> Whoop. Ooh, that's an eyeball. That's a giant eyeball. Weird eyeballs have been popping up a lot the last couple days, huh?
bootleg Lavos. I don't even know if it's the name of the boss. Flu shot today and started to feel funny earlier. Uh, I, I'm supposed to get my shots this month, but I think I think I might be sick with COVID right now. Like I don't know if I am or not. I can't leave the house to find out either, and I don't know if the home tests are going to be helpful. But if there's a there's a, a higher than zero percent chance that that's the case right now, unfortunately, I don't feel sick, but it's I I might be like. Just kind of a general feeling inside me. Alright, the final, final song. The final, final Fantasy 16 song and the final, 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 final Fireline song. <laughs> final, final, final. The triple final. Lyric time. Of course, it ends on a, a field stage, but whatever. It's fitting.
a sky of scattered tears. A thousand years of It's a very, very fitting finale. Very melancholy sounding. Maybe you can help me with the thought you had. Every morning before school coffee time, but I wonder if I should just take it with me next month. But next month is when the term ends, so it's even worth investing in a hot tumbler to carry with me since after this term it's up in the air and stuff. I mean, yeah, get a tumbler. I mean, what's, what's the harm in getting one? You could use it for other stuff. Thinking about streaming, uh... I think about streaming the third Ace Attorney game in December, and uh, let me tell you something: you're gonna you're gonna like the new character that gets introduced in that game, because he likes uh, he likes a certain thing. I think it's worth it. Get the tumbler. All right. Well, that's everything. Song no difficulty. Clear rank. There we go. Ultimate. Everything cleared on a double S or triple or triple S. 127. 400. And, oh wait, no. 396. So that is uh, 396. 127. 523. 523 songs cleared. Five hundred and twenty-three songs cleared. We, I did it. I did it. We, we've done it, fans. We've done it. We've done it, chat. We've done it, lads. Every song in the game completed with a double or triple S on ultimate difficulty. What a ride! Certain thing. Yes, you'll see. What an absolute ride this was. This is, without a doubt, my game of the year. And I'm sad to see it go. I'm sad that this is the end of the line. The end of the final bar line. It is truly the final bar line. And this game is probably the last Theater Rhythm game, too. They've kind of said that this is designed to be, like, the end of the Theater Rhythm series. Unless they get, like, another, se uh, another like, series. I know Indie Zero said they want to do it for, like, other, like, other games as well. They said they were open to Nintendo. Uh, Nintendo-based Theater Rhythm, which would be cool. Mega Man Theater Rhythm would be neat. Uh, that being said, uh, there is another game by them that I do have that I want to stream at some point, and that's the Kingdom of Hearts Melody of Memory game. Oh god, I sound like a, a Nintendo PR person. But, um, 
There is a there is a mel there is a rhythm game based entirely around the Kingdom Hearts series. The problem is I can't play it because it spoils three, and I've never finished three. So at some point I'll finish streaming three. I, I did like the first like, I think like third or half of it on stream a long time ago, and then just stopped because it was right around when I took my big hiatus in 2019. So at some point I'll go back and finish that, and then I'll play Melody of Memory because I really would love to play more rhythm games. But yeah, it's this is the end of the line for final bar line. You know what though? Let's uh It hasn't been an hour and a half yet. I'm gonna go ahead and, and play a couple more songs just to play us out on this. And uh those songs I think I've decided that those two songs will be World Revolution and then one other one after that. Gonna end out with some some iconic music. Iconic and blood pumping music. Just to not go out on that melancholic note. Because as great as that was, let's be honest, this this game's all about the energy. Oh, when they make a rhythm spin-off important to the plot. Yeah, no. Well, you know, that's just Kingdom Hearts in a nutshell. Everything's important to the plot. That part of the song doesn't get to you. Yeah, the... The... Main theme part. to do this one but why not that's live it's been over a year since the live a live stream and uh man that was that was probably one of my favorite streams of all time doing the live a live remake this is the original though cube
I cried during it? I don't think I cried during the remake. I was definitely happy with it, and I got emotional, but... I cried when Square Enix took down my videos of the last four parts. Three of my four videos of the ending, which I then got to re-upload a few months later, and, uh, didn't get nearly as many views because of that. Cool shit. All right, we gotta do we gotta do one more. We gotta do one more. And it's gotta be the one song I've played the most off stream. Band Rise from Final Fantasy XIV. Now that I'm a true FF14 head, uh, I think it's fitting for me to finish out with this song. Okay, well I wasn't entirely wrong. <laughs> I didn't cry. I was angry. I was annoyed. But whatever. It's not like it was gonna make any difference for me. Please tell me me cracking the drink open was was audible on stream. I was like I was like wait the silent the part where there's no notes is coming up. 
I should I should open my fridge while that's happening and take a drink out. Okay, good. <laughs> that's a reference to the actual fight with Alexander in 14, I believe. There's a part where like he could just freeze time or something. Or there's a part where there's like a setup happening and it plays that that theme. That's entirely intentional. All right. Have my fun with Final Bar Line. I'm probably still going to go back to this when I get bored and want to play a rhythm game, but I think uh, for the time being... I think for the time being... I drink the beep. It's not on a Palmer. You know it is. I think for the time being, 120 to 125 hours of Final Bar Line uh, is enough for now. Love my, my Hoppo icon with Hoppo background. It works so well. Actually, wait a minute. Is Ash playing this right now? No, he's playing Wonder. I thought he'd be finishing up uh, the DLC himself. Excellent. Excellent game. Amazing game. Love it. Love it. Game of the year. Indie Zero, you do amazing work. At some point, I'll play Melody of Memory, I promise. Please continue to do great work in the future. If, this is, if there's no more DLC for this game, then congrats on making one of the best video rhythm video games of all time. Of, of the time. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that, that will be all for Final Bar Line. Me? Gungaga.